Hi there. Let's have a look at a couple of estimation methods. Uh, I won't go through all of them. There are, seem to be an interminable variety of them. And I'll have to remark that estimation is one of the topics that's been banned from discussion at the uh, meetup group that I attend quite regularly. Um, it's banned because there, there isn't an answer. Uh, there's, the, somebody, the question is, what's a good estimation method? And the answer is it depends. And it will always depend. There isn't a definitive answer to good estimation, and there's no answer to um, how do you get accurate uh, estimates. The estimates, they're called estimates for a good reason. They are estimates. Now, the two um, largely uh, opposing uh, schools of thought. One school of thought is the function point counting um, method of estimating the, the job. Function points were uh, proposed by uh, Alan Albrecht of IBM back in about 1968 and was based on the observation that the work took about the same amount of time depending on the uh, functional characteristics of what it was they were going to do. And the functional characteristics were in terms of how many input files, how many output files, how many update files uh, were involved. And uh, from that, he got fairly reasonably uh, accurate um, estimation methods. That was in terms of the size of it, not the amount of time it was going to take. That depended on the language that it was being uh, implemented in. And uh, bear in mind, at that time, it was COBOL, Fortran, um, Assembler, possibly PL1, but not much else. So this was a, uh, an initial approach. Function points had the advantage that they've been around for a long time. There's a lot of history, there's a lot of benchmarks, uh, a lot of experience with it, and so it's, it's possible to compare uh, performance across a wide range of projects if you use function points. Um, there are also variations on function points called, uh, I think feature points was one that uh, Capers Jones uh, came out with, um, simply to give more weight to the algorithms that were involved. Capers Jones was concerned more with the real-time uh, control software than the commercial uh, transaction-based software that Albrecht was dealing with. Now, in contrast to function points, a lot of agile projects um, depend on the um, knowledge, expertise, and professional judgment of the developers themselves, which is quite reasonable because agile development depends on professional judgment and assumes you've got um, professional competence going on there. Now the whole idea with um, planning poker is to expose different assumptions uh, or different thoughts about uh, what's going to be involved in this. So the whole idea with planning poker is everybody has poker cards, but usually the cards are in some sort of a Fibonacci series, so that bigger cards get a, a bigger weight. And um, there is a task, usually a story card, and the question is, how big is this? Relative to other stories, not absolute size, but relative to other stories. And uh, everybody turns over a card. What you're looking for is different cards. So um, the classic example is if, um, if there are five in a group, three people have uh, bid two, one person bids one, and one person bids five, the question is not, what are all, why do all these people agree on the two, but why does that person pick one? What, what, what do they know? Why, why do they think it's such a small job? And again, with the other person, with the five, why have they got five? Why do they think it's so hard? What have they thought about that we possibly have missed? So that's the advantage of planning poker, is that it, it um, exposes different um, perceptions of what's involved in the task and allows time to, to debate the uh, two of them. So there we have it with uh, estimation. In uh, my um, understanding or my experience, almost any estimation method will work because the value is partly in coming up with some answer and partly in having, using the estimation method to force everybody to think about the task a bit more. 
certainly that is the value of function points. By the time you're able to judge the function points, you've actually investigated that particular problem quite well, and uh, you know a certain amount about it. So the, the, um, the effort that you have to do to come up with the, the, the estimate is valuable, and the rigor and consistent approach is also very valuable. So any method will do. Any method is better than nothing. Um, so pick which one you want.